Middle school students in Philadelphia will begin getting screened for weapons, and that starts this Monday. It's a move that some parents are praising while others are expressing concern. Our Jeff Cole joining us live now with more details. What can you tell us, Jeff? Well, Don, certainly some parents may be concerned about this, but it certainly looks like this policy, including weapons screening, is going forward and will start on Monday. A junior at Philadelphia's Ben Franklin High, Adela Krebs, knows metal detectors. You go through a metal detector every day? Yes, I do. What do you think about that? I think it's pretty safe and everything for everybody to go through every day. So it makes you comfortable to be able to do that? It does. All city high schools have them, and beginning Monday, the school district will start random weapons screening at 71 middle and elementary schools for students in 6th through 8th grades. We just want to make sure that people understand that we're doing everything possible to keep our schools the safe havens that we believe them to be. The policy was revealed in a letter from the district last night. It reports students in six schools will be screened either by metal detector or wand daily, and all seven schools will have a screening before the school year is over. The district reports there have been two incidents this school year of weapons in or near school property. The Philadelphia Inquirer reports a gun was recently found outside of Bethune Elementary in North Philly. And in March, a gun in the backpack of an eight-year-old boy at a West Philadelphia charter school fired in the school's courtyard. No one was hurt. Even a nine-year-old in third grade who spoke to us with her mother's permission understands the importance of screening. Uh, I think it's safe for the other kids to, for like, to make sure that no other person has weapons on them for safety. The district writes, students will be given an opportunity to dispose of any illegal or inappropriate items prior to being screened without consequence. The district warns those caught with a weapon will face a penalty. City police tell Fox 29 there have been 105 criminal shooting victims ages 13 through 19 this year alone. 25 of them have died. We just want to make sure that first parents understand that you know they should be having conversations with their children about the access to weapons and obviously not bringing them to school. Does it surprise you kids at that age need to be checked? It depends. You never know. Or like you know, a lot of people like my generation, you never know what people may carry or not, especially eighth graders or seventh graders. It seems clear tonight, Don, that this policy is in part directed at adults to convince them to keep their guns locked away. Live in Society Hill, I'm Jeff Cole, Fox 29 News.